All right, so we've been doing some A-B testing or A-B-C-D testing in this case uh, to figure out how to best ship snails. Talk to us about this experiment we've done. So go ahead, take it away. All right, so it's been three days and we put them in water with oxygen, water with just atmosphere, wrapped up in a paper towel with oxygen or wrapped up in a paper towel with atmosphere and just open them up, open them all up and they're all starting to wiggle around and come out of their shells. There's a bladder snail that was in with those guys and he's having a party. So. Cool, so it looks like all of those options worked. Um, we weren't sure if pure oxygen would be harmful to snails or not, you know, on their, be reactive to their, since they don't really have skin, <laughs> like, you know, they're slugs with a shell. So as we've been watching these snails, now that they're out of the bag, we've noticed a couple things. The ones with uh, in water with O2 seem to recover the quickest. These in water without O2, with just atmosphere, recovered second quickest. And then these two are still recovering, and, and they have a little schmutz on their face, the ones that were on the paper towel. Now, it's white, so I don't know if it's like paper towel that they gripped onto and pulled off or were chewing on or what. Um, hopefully that's not fungus down in there on their faces. I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to give them some more time and see. But we're noticing a little difference uh, as we watch them a little longer. So, so far this seems to be the winner in water with, uh, with O2. We'll keep an eye on them and, and see where it goes from there. Okay, so those snails have sat overnight. Let's see how they're doing. So these are the ones that were uh, in water with O2. They look fine. Two are out and about. One's, uh, one's in his shell, but I don't think he's dead or anything. Uh, these ones were in O2 with atmosphere. They're out and about. That third one right there is way down in the shell. These are the ones that were in a, a paper towel, a damp paper towel with oxygen. And I don't know what that is, but there's these weird like white balls in there. I've never seen anything like that before. I don't know what that is, except for that it's strange. And then the ones that were in damp paper towels with atmosphere, um, let's see here. They're there. Can't tell. They're, they're not super active. I'm not sure how they're doing exactly. So, I think what we're going to do is change the water on these, put a little food in there, and see uh, if any of them hit the food better than someone else. That might give us a clue as to which method is better. So, maybe we do that. It's been a couple minutes. The ones that we packed, like we pack our normal fish with our shipping water concoction and O2, are on the food really quick. These guys, not so much. These were packed in a fish bag with atmosphere, no oxygen. I mean, one's on the pellet, kind of, but not really eating. These guys all headed right to it. These guys, paper towel with O2, weird mucus blobs. Um, don't look like they're attacking the food, and these definitely aren't. The ones that were in a uh, paper towel with atmosphere. I think we're gonna go with the uh, one that recovered fastest yesterday, got active fastest, and is eating the fastest today, and that's the ones that are shipped just like we ship our normal fish. So they're in a, a plastic shipping bag with uh, water, O2, and our shipping water concoction. Those seem to be doing the best, so good to know. Those ones with the weird mucus blobs, um, we were like, is that an egg sack? I mean, I know they're live bearers, but they're a rabbit snail, but like, is that an egg sack? So uh, Random Arms, Jonathan broke one open and no, just gushing, nasty, make you want to puke goo. So not sure what that was. I wonder if the O2 on their, directly on their bodies without water, since they were just in a damp paper towel, they weren't submerged in water. I wonder if it was a little reactive on their skin and maybe that was like a protective slime they uh, excreted to protect themselves from that. Don't know, but it's kind of gross. So we're not doing that one. That's for sure. <laughs> anyway, that's our little snail test, how to ship snails. Um, we're always told just do it in paper towels, but I've wondered, is that because that's what's best for the snail or is that because that's best for the shipper? In other words, if you just ship in a damp paper towel, there's less weight 
Less weight means cheaper cost for shipping. So I can see how people would want to do it that way just because uh, you could save some money on shipping. But this test was to see, is that really best for the snail or not? And our conclusion is, based on this test, and this is one little test, like, we're not experts, we don't know for sure, but just, just based on this, that no, we're gonna go ahead and ship them in water and treat them just like we treat our fish. So I think that's how we'll move forward. Until next time, I hope you have a good one. Um, bye bye. Hey everyone, it's Dan. If you want to learn more about aquarium fish, we do a live stream every Wednesday at 9 p.m. Eastern on the Dan's Fish YouTube channel. If you're in the market for aquarium fish, check us out at dansfish.com. We ship to the U.S. and parts of Canada. And if you want something fishy to wear, we've got merch. Till next time, have a good one. Bye-bye.